Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Long trail. Well, let's continue, shall we? Little footfalls. It is all Wakulmuk can do to not rush off Guluja. I'm gonna get some gloves. If Guluja is outside the tower, we need to find him as quickly as possible. Even if he's used to getting around on his own, the wilds are still no place for a child. Agreed. While Kral and Raha continue reviewing the data, the three of us should devote ourselves to the search. Alright, let's head to the base of the tower and take it from there. Alright. Alright, let's go. We're looking for a child. It's been a little bit for me, so I'm trying to remember. Right. Zorilja's maybe child. Right, right, right. I think I already did all these, so I can technically teleport. I'll be fine. Mmm, man, I like the music here. Alright, do that. Alright, so I got your quests. I mean, technically, no, because I still have to go here and here, so. Yeah, even if I did that, I wouldn't get flying anyways. I haven't even done the, a the uh, uh, Aether Currents yet, so yeah. My throat's starting to feel funny. I really hope I'm not getting sick again. Uh, I'm having very bad luck this year. Hello. Oh, it's a player. I was about to say, man, that is sitting very still. All right. Hey, how you doing? Zay? Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, that explains a few things. I have no idea what's happening, but now the server queue is 175. I got a feeling either one or two things happened. Either I logged in at a very busy hour, but when I originally logged in the queue, there was only 25 people ahead of me. Or maybe a DDoS attack. I don't know. And also I'm going to pause it because I extremely doubt you'll want to watch me be in queue. Oh, okay. I actually went down. Okay, that's a good sign. They must have had a server hiccup or something because my internet's fine here. Huh. I'm like, uh, it's been, what, a month? Not a month. Yeah, it's been about a month, I guess. It's been a couple weeks since Dawn Trail launched. Yeah, because the raids and all that are out, so it's been a month. Let's say, who's DDoSing this game? No, they just had a server hiccup, if I had a guess. Everyone's trying to probably log back in and do their trials. Meet oh, that's not a good sign. All right, yeah, you don't need to see me being <laughs> in queue for 92. I'm gonna just alt tap that and watch a video. All right, we live. Okay, I have no idea what happens. Well, I know it's not a DDoS thing because that person over there is still on their mount. Okay. All right. Well, that, that doesn't happen again. The internet here is fine. All right, moment of truth. Can I talk to her? I can't. Heritage found this large area splitting up would allow us to cover more ground. Well, here we are outside. The word team again. Perhaps someone has caught sight Gulaja. Let's make inquiries if we're nearby. Good idea. Could you handle the outskirts, Alize? In the meantime, Bayer and I will head beyond the big wall. What random mount am I getting today? Oh! A, a, an actual dragon I got. Right. I got this from Tomestones. I didn't get this from the Savage. Don't worry. I've yet to see this thing actually fly, but that's eh, fine. Actually, I gotta go over that uh, bridge. And then later, before I lie down to go to bed, I have to double check, make sure the water and the food's good. Uh, since last time I played this, I gotten two pets. They're old, so I'm basically their retirement home. My sister had to get rid of them, so I took them. I got two hedgehogs. One's really fat, 
The other one is a little tiny female, but they're old, so they can't, you know, have babies or anything. One's the son, one's the mother, apparently. Where have you gone, little one? Just gotta make sure to keep up on all that. I haven't had a pet in years, so it's a bit weird for me. Cooler's out doesn't appear to be in this area. However, you catch sight of a group of people short distance to the southwest. I do. You spot those people, yes. Perhaps they've seen something. Come on. Hello, people. How you doing? Let me see. You do not have a regulator on. I can say I have a good eye. But I'm not talking about your peculiar, peculiar capabilities. What I mean is, you seem to be well suited to find lost valuables, useful resources, and the like. If you got mine to become a reforger, I'd cert I'm certain you'd go far. As a processor of a good eye myself, I'd bet on it. Alright. Man, it's always after word brain that can't read. Or play Elden Ring. Looks like some sort of salvage yard. Well, let's go ask about Guluja. Guluja is in here. You know the boy. Have you seen him? Dead eyes. Oh, forgive me. I didn't know you were. No offense taken. Oh, she's blind. Oh, jeez. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't think that one through, did I? My name is Tapu. My eyes may be useless, but my ears are sharper for it. I can recognize people by their footfalls, including Galuja. So he didn't come this way. Where in the world would could he be? I do not know your voices. Who are you to Galuja, and why do you search for him? I'm family. Though not related by blood, his father is my brother. I only just met Galuja, and we haven't had a chance to talk properly. But I'm about to do something that will make him hate me, and I wanted the chance to explain. His father is your brother, then that means you're. Yes, welcome up, vow resolve of Tuliolo. And I've journeyed here to bring my brother Zorolja to account for, uh, for murdering our people and our father. When all said and done, Galuja may want nothing to do with me. Nevertheless, I always consider him family. You just met him! Oh, I'll always. My bad. I thought I always. I, I'll always. Could, yeah. I'll always be there for him, and I want him to know that. It tears me... It tears me... Uh, it tears me... It, it tears you apart to do what you must. The quiver in your voice tells the tale. Galusha was heading south. There, he has a place that is close to a home as he knows. Find and bear your heart to him. Should he turn... Uh, should he in turn bear his heart to you accept and respect his wishes as Queen Sphine respects ours when she granted us a place in her realm I will don't worry but uh, what do you mean when you say Queen Sphine respected your wishes out of concern for our well-being her majesty has urged us to reside in, reside inside Everkeep when we decline, not only did she gracefully accept our decision, she granted us necess necessary supplies to make our home here. And since then, she has paid us a regular visit to see how we fare. <laughs> that sounds like Sphine, all right. Well, thank you for telling me about Galusia. I'll find him. Then we'll have a good talk. Book to... Continue south. Let's keep an eye. All right. Let's keep our eyes peeled as we make our way. Hmm. 
After work brain sucks. Oh wow, he went far. Mount time. Wait, what? Oh, I'm on the crab. I might as well go here just so I can trigger it on the map. Oh, can't do that. Okay, fine. Give me a... So they live he here. Oh, okay, fine. I'll fly there. Jeez, I get it, game. All right, the drift downs. Oh. Oh, an aether current. Hello. Here, just for you. Get him. I have aggro. That's right. I know what I did. Is there anything that gains aggro like crazy in this game other than tank moves? It's a good heal. That guy was running away, trying to have the guy follow him. Okay. Oh my god! That's Alexandria! That's the real Alexandria! The houses! Which one's the inn the hippo lady worked in and kept blocking me when I was on the stairs? Is that... Is this... Is that the place where Vivi would walk up? To the gates? The tickets would be turned in over there? Oh, I want to see more. I, I might be wrong, but that looks like Alexandria. It's a town. And half of it's submerged. The architecture looks like nothing we've seen so far. It's more Charlie Charlian. Ah, there he is, among the ruins. I have to call a glimpse, but there's no mistaking that tiny silhouette. I'd sorry after him. It'll be a disaster if a building collapsed while he's inside. Hmm. Oh, I just noticed I'm on level 98 now. 98 quests. Meaning I'm nearing the end very soon. And then I'll have the... No, I won't have the entire set. Can I glamour? Oh dear, that's gonna look off for a bit. I mean, I could just put my other gloves back on for now. Uh, these, right? No, it's these. There we go. We'll wear those for now. Drowned vestiges. Wakuma is eager to follow Galusha into the ruined town. I only saw him for a moment before he disappeared into a building, but I'm pretty sure Galusha was heading further south. I'll contact Alize on Link Pearl and let her know to join us. Okay, I'm very curious. Is this actual, actually where I think it is? Is this Alexandria? It looks. The architecture and everything look familiar. It does. Zoom in, what's it called? What's it called? There's no name here. Oh yeah, I'm making everyone mad at me right now, and I'm just trying to sightsee. The, 
No, that can't be the, the tower. The tower's closer to the water. The tower... Let me guess, you ring the bell, a Moogle comes down. Oh. It wants to be. This is the area, but the canals and the debris make it hard to get a good view. Let's split up and search. If we can head into the canals, I'll make my way through the streets. Find Goluja. Let's watch from a distance until he gets to his destination. We'll want to startle him and cause an accident. That's where the castle should be. What happened there? They clearly <clears throat> did something there. I don't know. Technically, the cat. I. Hmm. Yeah, the top, if these are the canals, that should be the clock tower. Or not the clock tower, the bell tower. And then Vivi and the rat boys sneak up, go up it, throw the ladder down, cross it, they go to the play. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. There he is. A little blue bastard. Alright, follow without being noticed. God, man, they love these missions. They did them a lot in the last expansion, too, but this expansion's really doing them quite a few. This is, what, the fifth or sixth time? Galusia! I want to be pals, buddies, friends. I have to wait over here, because, um... Yeah, there's nothing for me to hide behind up there. Oh, he talks. Oh, dear. Oh, so that's new. The crumbled wall there is new. All right, wait. I don't know if he's going to the stair. Okay, he's going right. I could hide on the stairs. All right, that's not neat anymore. I'll hide here. Don't worry, Galuja. I'm gonna see if I go up there. I have to fight them. Let's just give Galuja. Oh wait. Hmm. I gotta be careful. Everyone's different. He could be extremely paranoid. If I get caught, it's gonna suck. There's nothing to hide behind right now. Okay, there's a wall. I'm staying behind this wall. I'm definitely staying behind this wall. Right, Galusha is doing his thing. I'll run up there after. Okay. Being very cautious because there's nothing to hide behind. Hmm. Hi, it's me. Oh, we're moving now. Stairs, hug the stairs. All right, he's turning. Huh. Okay. Phew. I was gonna say, oh my god, there's a lady in there. Player. <laughs> we found you, Galusia. Ah, cracked my shoulder. Damn, wow. The lighting in this cutscene already looks amazing. He's come a long way on such short legs. It's a relief he didn't get hurt. Ah, he knows what he's doing. What's here, I wonder?
A VV doll? Oh, whoop, it's the Garnett doll that one of them had during, uh... Oh, chipmunks! So he's looking after those little ones. Gulja. Not another step! What? A sentry? I feel there's a misunderstanding. Gulja, run! Um. You know the boy. Who are you? And what do you want? Who are you is my question. My name is Wuklamat, and I've come to talk to Gulja. Is that so? I'm sorry if I scared you. I want to get to know you better. That's all. And you, my boy. Do you wish to speak with them? I heard them talking. She said she's going to kill my father. Villains! I will deal with them forthwith! But... I... I want to get to know her, too. I see. If that is your desire, then I shall stand aside. All right, then. Let's talk, you and I. Lots. Well, also, this explains how Goluja can keep coming here without getting harmed. He literally has a knight. <laughs> but, uh, who's the ancient looking and articulate machine? If I look ancient, it is because I am. This has been my vessel for no less than 380 years. Oh, jeez. Vessel? Otis is my friend. When I was hungry and sad, he came and looked after me. He cooks for me and teaches me all kinds of things. Like how to read and write and... and not be noticed by dangerous creatures. This machine cooks for you. and teaches you about fiends. What is he exactly? Ah, how remiss of me. I had neglected to introduce myself. Sir Otis Valona, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria, at your service. Ah, uh, that name does not ring a bell. New character. You're Captain of the Knights? What used to be the Knights? <laughs> You seem different from other machines. What's your story? <laughs> Last like oh, Steiner. There, I thought it was Gulja with whom you wish to speak. Not that I'm averse to taking a walk down memory lane. But ere I regale you, we must take our repast. A meal. Here. I hate to turn down food, but I'd prefer to have this conversation in the back room. Please. I'm really hungry. All right, all right. A repast it is. Well, that was... 
Yep. She's going to spoil her nephew, silly. I'll send word to Erinville so the others can stop worrying. Now, if I might prevail upon your assistance, I shall whip up my most delectable specialty. Yeah, he laughs like the uh, way Steiner laughs, not in the animation where he grabs his hip and, like, throws himself back. So, not Alexandria, yes, but not one I know. If Otis has been around for so long as he claims, perhaps he knows things that not even Oblivion is aware of. He spoke to us. Galusia actually spoke to us, yes. And then there's, uh, no, you're on the, you're, you're on the lizard boy. Otis cooks his, the best food. Okay. So, my new friends, I'm going to list your aid procuring the ingredients for our repast. After all, the most enjoyable meals are those we make together. We're happy to pitch in, of course. What ingredients did you have in mind? First of all, some yam and pumpkin. The people the outskirts should have, uh, should be willing to share their harvest. If you and Galuja could go and speak with them. Sure, I'll, a I'll ask for the cast-offs too, as usual. As for Bader and Alze, I would be obliged if you could procure some wool back meat. The creatures can be found grazing on the slopes outside of town. As beef is less readily available, their flesh makes for a good substitute. That of one younger... That of the younger ones especially, as it's more tender and less gamey. And sir, done. We'll be back with the meat before you know it. Thank you kindly. In the meantime, I shall see to the other preparations. Alright, we're going hunting for some might. So yeah, this is definitely the actual Alexandria. The problem is there's a giant crater where the castle should be. Hmm. I get a nine Alexandria, the cast uh, Alexandria. The castle itself was a guardian, a summon. This three? This three. No, it was the end of this two? No, it was this two or this three. Because that's after Dagger leaves her quiet spell because a few things happen. Man, I need to replay 9. I love that game. I usually try and play it once a year, but I haven't played it at all for a while. Oh my, you're a little... You know, I'm the Pop Nebula because I can. Thanks for your meat. Ah, we're using my chocobo with the red mage garb on it. Hmm. You want to know what this looks like down here? Also, if you ever play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles on the GameCube, it reminds me of the level where there's a town that fell in the ruin because they couldn't, uh bless their crystal with the myrrh in time so the village just completely died and all that and that is what that reminds me of except there's no miasma killing you and the boss in that level i believe was a living house and the butt boss and the malboro in the mushroom place and so on so on Don't come to me. All right, guess we're doing this. There we go. I'm so sorry about that. I made it. Oh, oh what's this? Am I to understand that you already procured the meat? Yeah, I'm sorry. 
A fatty cut of wolback meat that serves as satisfactory substitute to beef. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a jerk move. I was hoping to lose him, but he did AoE and hit that poor guy. Oh, that's funny. Good heavens, you have. And such a choice. But it is besides. It's plain to know you know how to handle yourselves in battle. Where it 400 years ago, we created you the Royal Knights. <laughs> And pop. And now we just need the headwear. There it is. Memories of a knight. Otis is pleased with the meat you have brought him. Once Alize brings her portion, we should have a glorious bounty to satisfy growing younglings like yourselves. Indeed, I expect there to be ample leftovers to share with the good folk of the Drift Downs. They always appreciate a warm meal. Now, seeing as you've completed your task so quickly, I have another request to make of you. We're exhausted. We exhausted our supplies of kindling, Electro, and I should be grateful if you could search the houses yonder for more. In the Old Kingdom, Electro rations were issued to each civilian, while small fragments may still be found here and there. If you can obtain five pieces, say at least one ought to be what we require. There it is. The kind that converts lightning to fire, Galuja can identify them by their circuitry. So, pray take them to him. The boy has become quite deft in discerning electro types. And in a very short time, I might add. Now off you go, and happy forging! Yep. Off I go. I see an architecture that is similar to Alexandria from Nine, but also I understand that this is technically hundreds of years in the future. So it's gonna be different. Leave me alone. Oh, fine. Leave me alone. Processed electro. Thing is, how is there even more electro if you've been gathering it for 500, 400 years or whatever? Ah, whatever. Also, yeah, it's a square. Huh. Man. Don't care. Ow. You can't stop me. I'm doing it. I warned you. You couldn't stop me. All right, let's get more of that electro. All right. There's one more over there. Then there's gonna be a solo one there. So this must be the last secret location of the game because this is something they built up to. I have a feeling there's more. There's always that one last location that shows its head at the end of every expansion. Oh, hey. <laughs> if anyone's ever beaten old in this game, I think you know whose mount this is. See ya. All right, let's get that processed electro. In fact, I could attune that right now. The Electro Spike. I know, I'm gonna do this quest. I'm probably gonna be doing this in two parts because I'm gonna probably take some cold med tonight because I feel my throat and all that starting to, you know. Then I need to just make sure that my hedgehogs have food and water for the night. Those little nocturnal little spiky butts. All right, Guluja here. Oh, this says you have electro for me. Here, process electro. This piece of electro has been engraved with arcane circuits. Practice eye is required to discern its effect. There you go. There's five of them. Go crazy, kiddo. Wow, you found a lot. Let's see. This one creates wind. This one gets for water. You can tell just like that. You can. Jeez. You can tell just like that. I'm impressed. 
clever, isn't he? <laughs> I'll bet he gets it from his father. Ah, oh, this is it. This converts to fire. It's absorbed a lot of lightning, so we should be able to kindle a flame easily. Thank you, Bayer. No, thank you. Thanks to your assistance, we have everything we need for our repast. You've done your part. You've... Yeah, you have done your part, and now I should do mine. I bid you relax, my friends. The meal will soon be served. Damn, you could have played a nice calming FF9 song here. Oh, I was expecting this to be voice acted. This is the kind of thing families do, Galuja. We have meals together, talk about what's in our minds. So, you ate with your father? Yes. With them and my brothers, it was mostly the head of resolve and I doing the talking, though. Conan and the head of reason occasionally joined in, and Sorolja spoke when he was spoken to. You said you ha that you have two papas. Does that mean one is yours and the other is my father's? No, no, both of our fathers. He's what people call blessed siblings, Mamuja with two heads. Zorolja is his true-born child, while Kona and I are adopted and don't share the same blood. But that doesn't make us any less family. What matters is that our hearts are connected. The head of resolve taught me that. Family. You have someone like that too? A person you think is family, even though you don't share the same blood? That's a good question. What about you? I'm something of a lone wolf. <laughs> You must be strong. I don't think I could be alone for that long. Alizade looking at me like, you know that's not true. So, Galusha, I'm hoping that we could, could be family, you and I. Won't you tell me about yourself? You really want to know about me. I do. I want to know everything about you. The things you love, the things you hate, anything and everything. I want to know about you, too. That reminds me, we were hoping to hear your story, too, Otis. As you wish. Be forewarned that mine is a tale that will be long in recounting. It was before lightning was uh, it was before lightning had altered the world that I was appointed Lord Captain of the Royal Knights. We're talking hundreds of years prior to the calamity, right? Indeed, earlier still than when I assumed this mechanical form. Four hundred and fifty-four years ago, to be precise. Then you used to be a normal person. Oh yes, I was once flesh and blood like you. I proudly served as a knight of Alexandria. So, rather than a machine that behaves like a person, you are, are an actual person. How is this possible? It is only natural of you, that you are confused. Hear my tale to the end, and all shall become clear. The foremost duty of the Royal Knights was the protection of the Royal Family. In my time, that was their Majesty's King and Queen, and their only child, Her Highness the Princess. But then, every nation on our star was embroiled in some manner of conflict over Electro. Thus, our nation drawn into a war with its neighbor. That war was the catalyst for the great calamity that altered the environment. Countless countrymen lost their lives amidst the chaos, the King and Queen among them. For blessing, we were able to protect the princess, who then rose to the occasion and brought hope to her people in those trying times. So kind-hearted our young queen that uh, our young queen at 
her past, we even took in refugees from every enemy nations. But sadly, her reign was cut short. Like many others, her body had been ravaged by lightning, and one day she collapsed and passed away. How tragic. Wait, wait, who's the... Wait, who's... Wait, what's Fiend? Aye, Neri was their citizen whose eyes remained dry, and many a moon was spent constructing a great tomb worthy of her memory. Oh... Yeah, I clung to hope still, for Her Majesty was on her deathbed. The kingdom's finest scientists has successfully extracted her soul. Did I hear that right. Extracted her soul? Our flesh may wither and die, but as long as we are remembered, we may live on. This old age belief had always comforted our people. But as casualties mountain, mounted high in the wake of the Calamity, we sought to make it a reality through the power of Electro. And in time, we succeeded in developing the means to preserve the soul, and it was used to spare the Queen eternal death. Yet, it wasn't enough to simply prevent the soul's departure, for the ultimate goal was to recreate a person as they were in life. And this, requir this required that their memories be further extracted from their soul. It took many more years of research to make this possible, but which time I had become a gray old man. With my days numbered, I did not hesitate to volunteer myself as a test subject for the procedure. So, it was then I attained this vessel. And by my successful rebirth, I paved a way for those who are recreated from the memories of the departed. Oh, you're... You're number one. Endless, they are called. If your tale is true, then the queen that your people brought back to life is Sphine. Has to be Sphine. It wouldn't be Sphine, would it? Oh, so you know Her Majesty as well. My description of her boundless kindness must have paled in comparison to what you no doubt felt in her presence. I haven't met her myself, I confess. Not since assuming my current form. Wouldn't want to frighten the living daylights out of her. <laughs> We're all looking at him so evil and stuff. Like, we're mad, and he's just laughing. Ah, uh, so that's why she wears a thing on her head. Okay. I have seen the queen from afar many times, but not the courage to approach her. This isn't our cowardice, mind you, but rather concern. Yes, concern that I will cause her majesty undue distress. Oh, this has told me the tale before. Does this mean the queen of Alexandria isn't actually a person like you and me? Eh. The Endless. So all this time, Sphine wasn't alive? She lives yet. She lives yet. She does not. It is ad admittedly a difficult distinction to make. Having inherited the memories of departed soul, an endless feels, thinks, and acts precisely as that person would. In that sense, I believe they are alive. The Alexandrians know this, right? It can't have gone unnoticed that Sphine is perpetually youthful. No one really knows about the Endless. People who wear regulators don't even think about death. Everyone sees that the Queen doesn't change, but they just accept it. To them, it's just who she is. Oh, is that why she doesn't eat or drink? Are there Endless apart from yourselves? While there should be as many endless as there were those who died, I believe they are limited in where they can exist. Queen Sphine is unique in her ability to appear before you. Strictly speaking, I myself am not endless. They are created using memories extracted from a soul. My soul was placed into a, inside the machine. 
Being inside a machine makes you different how? Well, I do not understand the finer points, my life is bound to this vessel. If it breaks down, then it'll be over for me. Much like a being of flesh and blood, hardly an endless, unchanging life. Yeah, I'm sure you'll agree. An endless, unchanging life. You can't help but be reminded of the... Yeah. Yeah. Did Kashi, Kashi and the others know about this? Considering this, their extensive intelligence gathering, I'd be surprised if they didn't. For now, let's share what we learned with Kryal and Raha. I can't help but have misgivings about this. Alright. So, we just heard a story about the birth of the souls. Extraction. Man, you're really wandering by yourself. Nahe? Is that you? Good gods, Ellen Nespia! It's been too long, my friend! Where have you been all these years? What have you been doing with yourself? Hold on. They say Queen Sphine has guests from outside the barrier. That's you, I gather? <laughs> it seems so. I'm looking for my mother. Do you know where she is? Your mother? <laughs> Sorry, but what was she like again? Oh, his mother is dead. What? It's Kavkiwa. You know, the one who was too adventurous by half? Who, who journeyed with the Dawn Servant? Hmm... It's not ringing any bells. You can't be serious. Ours was a tiny little village. Surely you remember her. I, I really don't. It's all a blank. Is anyone else here from the village? Hey! Yep. Okay, I was right. She is dead, and her soul's in the machine. Huh? Ellen Espia? Huh? I'm looking for Kafkiwa. Where is she? What's this all of a sudden? Who's Kafkiwa? Your mother died. This... This cannot be. Memories of the departed are taken away. No. Be interesting. I know I'll continue a bit. It's 555. At crossroads, Otis looks pleased himself insofar as vessel can indicate. Although the mood became a tad subdued at the end, I thoroughly enjoyed our repast together. We did too, Otis, to hear about the endless was something of a shock, but we like but we likewise enjoyed your company. Above all, I'm glad that you and I could 
glad that you and I could talk, Galusia. Wait, what? I'm glad that you and- oh, pff, there's an eye there. I'm glad you and I could talk, Galusia. We're going to get along great, I just know it. You- you think so? <laughs> I'm happy for you, my boy. Now that I presume you'll be returned to Everkeep, permit me to accompany you at least a part of the way. Oh, she's like, nope. About Sphine, it doesn't matter to me if she's an endless, whether she's alive like you and me or not. I've seen enough to know that she's good, she, she's good at heart. Jeez. What worries me is the burden she bears. We still don't know what it is. I expect there's, there are things she can't tell us. That was a, was a role job watching, but at the very least, I'd like to know what the endless are to her. Sorry, I didn't mean to delay us. I just felt nervous to share my thoughts with you. On the way back, on the way back, let's make a quick stop at Drift Towns. Drift Downs. I want to tell them, Topo. I want to tell Topo how it went. Oh yeah, Drift Down. You know, it's quicker for me to just to. Yeah, you know, it's quicker for me to teleport here and then just go there, because that is a lot longer than that. Ooh. Yeah, that's why she has the thing at the crown. That's what keeps her alive, probably. If that crown comes off, I wonder if she dies. Hmm. I mean, she has to know it. Ah, let's talk to them. Go and do this and that. And, and I'll call it after this quest is done. Yeah, I have some I have a feeling his mother is dead. Yep, she is. She is 100% dead. The question is, is that her soul or a trap? I got to be honest, her soul, not a trap. Like you said, he can tell it's his mother 100%. Hey, yo. Hey, blindy. Ah, you're returned. You're able to find Galusia. We were, thanks to you. All's well with the boy. I'm relieved to hear that. And to know that he has family who worries for him. Galusia, too, must be glad. <laughs> I hope so. I'll try not to rush or force anything, though. It's for him to decide what I am to him. My, what a pleasant surprise it is to meet you in these parts. Oh, hey, Sveeny. Sveeny, what are you doing here? Using my people. Are you doing the same, perhaps? Perchance? I suppose we were, yes. Listen, there's something we'd like to talk to you about. Could we have a word in private? So you're... You're dead, right? You're the living dead girl Rob Zombie sings about. So, you know that I'm an endless. While we may not discuss it openly, my people will have noticed that I haven't changed for a hundred year, hundred of years. I made no attempt to conceal my nature. If I may ask, though, who has told you about the endless? Only a few should be familiar with that con with the concept. I'm afraid I can't say. I bear no ill will towards this mysteri mystery, mystery individual. Let's less that you're. Let's that. Oh God, can I not read? Lest that be your concern, I'm merely curi curious. Tell me, Sveen, you care for your people. That much is plain, and I assume you care for the Endless, too. Earlier in Everkeep, there was something that you wanted to tell us. Was it do with them? The Endless are as dear to me as my living citizens. They are as much as my family. But they can only be sustained by meeting certain exacting requirements. Thus, well, thus far, we've managed to 
to do that. Oh, jeez, cannot read right now. Thus far, we've managed to do so. But should more people die? I fear we should be pushed beyond our limit. Their preservation demands a vast amounts of energy. Energy? I don't understand the workings of it all. There's some we... But is there something we can do to help? Then... Would you be willing to come... Become an uh, Alexandrian citizen? What? I have my nation, my people to protect. I can't just become Alexandrian. Indeed, I suppose you cannot. First you tell us to make peace, then you tell us to go home. What exactly is it you want? The same as you, of course. Same of you, as you, of course, to protect my people. Is there something that only Zorolja can do? That is the question we should ask. Mm-hmm. That I can't say. I do not ask that you understand or like me. But I wish... I wish we had been born on the same side of it. Hey, what do you mean by that? Wait, Sphine! Hmm, damn it. Well, I think we've kept everyone waiting long enough. Let's continue on to Everkeep. And let's not tell Otis about our conversation with Sphine. I don't want to risk causing him pain. Alright, I'll see you in Everkeep in a second. I'm taking the shortcut. Oh, never mind. I could just fast travel here. One second. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, who? Hey. Okay, what do we have? Right. Oh, this is gonna be up ahead. He's gonna be like, "Thank you for." Let's waste it. Never up. I'm happy. Ah, it's, you can't get the motorcycle. Oh yeah, you can buy it, right. A lot has happened, but the important thing is Galusia is safe and well. Hachia has been worried, so let's head back. Ah, the dead lady. I've been gone I've gone ahead and apologized for us. For what? Making him wait? Eating to have was fun. I hope we can do it again. Why don't you come with us? You might get to see Sphinx. Ah, tis a magnanimous and much appreciated offer, but I must decline. A part of me longs for an audience with Her Majesty, it is true. Yet, though it be in my previous life, I failed to protect my queen. I couldn't bear to show my face before her. And <laughs> such an uncomely one, besides. <laughs> All right. If that's how you feel, we won't force you. But rest assured, we'll visit with Gulja, and we hope you'll cook for us again. to bring other comrades should you so desire. The more, the merrier. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. Uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, what's up? Nostalgia, was it? What's the matter? What's he done? What's Aaron Bill done? It's Zeralja. He marches to Vanguard. Oh, never mind. That's not what I thought. So he's done waiting. But why weren't we alerted sooner? Our transmissions are being jammed. The lookouts couldn't get through to us.
Well, I guess Why the time's come. at Vanguard too, but I can't reach her. Oh, what are we to do? Stay calm. Kafkiwa has yet to be alerted, yes? Take her to the back room as fast as you can. Our link pearls may still work. I'll try contacting those in Tuliolo. I kind of feeling they're not going to work. It'd be too simple if they worked. Oris, I need you to keep Guloja safe. You needn't ask. I want to go with you. Absolutely not. A battle's no place for you. Kuruja, the people of the outskirts must be evacuated. For this crucial task, I require your assistance. Remember, when battle is at hand, anything can happen. Caution is as valuable as any blade. Yes, sir. I managed to get hold of oh. Alpha now. He'll inform Kona. Okay, never mind. Link pearls didn't work. Okay, that's good. Good. How's the situation in Tulichola? There's nothing to worry about, or so my brother assured me. With such short notice, though, I doubt they'll be fully prepared. They'll be ready, I'm sure of it. The vow of reason is not to be underestimated. I'm coming, Soroja. And we will finish this once and for all. We have to kill multiple times, though, to delete his uh, reservoir of souls. And the problem is I got a feeling what's gonna happen is after we beat him multiple times, he'll activate his beast souls and turn into some beast-like creature. This is the moment of truth. We have to hold Zorolja here. And I know how exactly to do that. You know, I'll take that. All right. That is something I'm gonna do after I get a nice night's rest and some medicine in me. So I will be back momentarily, not mo well, momentarily for you, probably in about a day for me, because, yeah, I can, I'm starting to feel it. So yeah, I'll see ya. All right, I am back. Uh, as you can see, it's 11 my time, but I'll live. I have no work tomorrow. Uh, also, just got, I, I work. I went to the gym, had a little dinner, and I'm drinking a little coffee, and I unglamored this. This is what the entire set looks like. It looks pretty decent. Um, I'm still gonna put the set uh, uh, my glamour I was wearing on originally, but this doesn't look too bad. Personally, eh, eh. Also, you might hate this. I like it. I don't care what anyone says. And also my favorite glamour is still my samurai. Oh. But back to this. Alright. I also have all the equipment equipped to have my weapon. I am armor. Uh, I still need to get some of these, but I think it should be fine. So the next part sounds like it's gonna be a major part. So this is when this quest ends, I will be ending the video because I already went for an hour. Uh let's stop, you know, messing around. Let's get right into it. The Protector and the Destroyer. Waklama has a request to make before setting off to confront Zorolja. Um. Great for tanks, great for melee, great for healers, and great for. Well, I'll just probably go with the Night World Silver piece. 500 gills, 500 gill. The food doesn't really interest me. It would interest me if I did Savage. I don't. I'm rambling today. I'm... 
Let's hope I can read today. I'm warning you now, and it's 8 o'clock, and I might chugged half a cup of coffee. Let's hope I'm ready. Before we get going, I have a request to make of you. We, 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 we... See, I already messed up. When we confront Zorolja, you must let me face him alone. Oh, it's a solo instance battle. What? No, that's far too dangerous. Why put yourself at risk if we don't have to? We have two priorities. The first is to hold Zorolja within the dome to protect Tuliola. The second is to free Wakayu, Wayaki if she's been captured. To make sure we succeed, I need to play a worthy foe for Zorolja. If I come at him with help, he'll likely lose interest and proceed with his attack on the city. That's why it needs to be a duel. Even if Tuliolo is better prepared this time, it's true that it would be best to avoid another battle. And failing that, my at, at least weakens Rolja. Rest assured, I'm not going in this without strategy. Our time in the dome has given us invaluable insight in, into Alex Alexandrian culture. The use of the regulators, for one, the secret of Zorolja's strength. Then you mean to. That's right, if we destroy his regulator, he'll be unable to draw upon souls. We'll have to see how much he wants to duel after that. So, will we leave Zorolja to me? We believe in you, Lamati. I think Zorolja, if his regular got broken, he will not back down. The problem is, I don't think it's gonna be done just like that. I think he's gonna be an entire trial battle. And what's gonna happen is he has a lot of beast souls in that. And he's gonna turn to some type of monster. It's just a guess. Thank you, Bader. It's true that this is your fight. And how you choose to handle it is your decision. But if we see you struggling or Zorolja attempts to call upon his minions, we will go to your aid. <laughs> Fair enough, knowing you. Knowing you'll be there, I can give it all my all. Together with Kona, I'll keep Tiliola safe. I love how I keep saying that wrong, by the way. Alright. Okay, story time. Who's ready for story time with Bader Torgood? I'm gonna sip my coffee. Oh yeah, he's just right there. Zorocha. I mean, I doubt he cares. Uh, hello. <laughs> oh yeah, she got captured. Okay. You disappoint me, Uklamat. We are foes, yet you had my admiration for defeating father and claiming the throne. But instead of coming for me, you gallivant with the resistance. Do I intimidate you? Oh, it just hit me. I'm stopping this for a second. I am here, brother. I did not run, nor hide. I have come to kill you. Okay, I immediately uh, can think of an issue with this plan. And its name is Sfeen. She's gonna get on the verge of killing Zorolja for whatever reason, but she is gonna come in and save Zorolja and either die in the process or they're gonna get away. Yeah, I don't think our... Yeah, Zorolja is definitely not getting defeated this time. There's no way. Sfeen's gonna come in. Okay, back to this. Just thoughts. But yeah, Sfeen's gonna be a major player here. Also, okay, we're good. Let her go. Your quarrel is with me. And will you settle it one on one or call upon all and sundry yet again? Not that it would make any difference. No, like Papa did. I'll face you alone. <laughs> really? You believe you stand a chance? Have you forgotten how it ended, father? I remember you couldn't win without relying on other people's souls. Alone, I may be weak, but so are you. 
So be it. Do not regret your decision. Release her. Oh, thank you. Oh, I thought uh -oh. I was done for. <laughs> Don't. Okay. Good job. I have a feeling they're going to try and get her. <sighs> that was a test, probably. Had you let her die, you could have dealt me a telling blow. Yep. Your compassion will be the end of you. I'm not letting anyone else die. Except my brother. And you... You will never surpass Papa! But I have. With these very hands, I slew him. His body may be gone, but his spirit lives on in us. The Yokui's delusion is catching, I see. It's no delusion. Papa's love for Tuliyola gives me strength even now. She's getting the better of him. Well, a lucky strike. Come, let's get this over with. For my people and Sphinx. Is this an instance battle with my fighting Zerolja? How gullible you are. All of this is Fiend's doing. Oh. Her objective is to harvest all life outside the yeah, barrier. Yeah, okay. Our interests happen to align. Hence... Our alliance. That's why she wanted us to be Alexandrian, so she didn't have to kill us because she wants the souls and everybody outside the barrier to power that mechanism to keep all the endless alive because, as she said, they require a lot of energy. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, let me click that. Liar! Sveen would never do that! The King of Resolve speaks the truth. How did she... The attack on Tural was no less my desire than Zeralja's. You said you wanted none of this. It was a farce from the very start. Yes, I used you. So it was all just a lie then? What you said about loving your people as family? about wanting to see them smile? I do this for them! For what it's worth, I'm sorry I deceived you, but I had no choice. She doesn't exactly mean it 100% as we saw if Burns If I'm to save theme. my people, I must take the lives of yours! Behold, Wuklamat, the benevolent Queen's Fiend. Uh. An illusion that orchestrated a massacre. Endless, or machine, or whatever you are now, you bear the memories of the person you once were. You should still have a heart. When you speak of slaughtering my people, do you feel nothing? No, she does. No. 
Nothing is dearer to me than my people. It matters not whether they are living or endless. As queen, I will do anything to protect them. Uh -oh. If it were you, could you have found another way? With your strength, could you have held fast to that which is dear without sacrifice? What exactly do you seek to do? What are you protecting your people from? You waste your words. There is no turning back. Come oh, on, well, bravo, walk. Is this the strength that the love of Tuli Yular lends you? Let your guard down a for one second. A weak ruler walks a path of ruin. Tell me, which of us is worthy of their throne? I already know. It will never be you! As long as you think only of yourself, you'll never be worthy. You'll never surpass father or me! Oh! <sighs> you can't rely on souls anymore. It's over. Let's see if he runs or fights. Don't think you've won yet. Oh no. Far from it. Oh, he's fighting. Give the order to the fleet. Raise truly Yolol to the ground and harvest every last soul! It is over for Tuli Yulol. Your works, your people. All will be ash before the day is done. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I'm not the only Dawn servant. Oh, wait, are we going to Tuli? Oh, are we going to Tuli Old? Are we going to uh, see what Kona and Alpha Node, uh, Raha, and Yashtul are up to? Oh, and Kryl. I forgot Kryl. Or is Kryl here? No, Kryl's, oh, Kryl's here. Never mind. Estunian! We know where he's at. All right, time for Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> the dust watch well let's start machinist well come on then you tin bastards yippee ki -yay. if I didn't know better I'd say you're enjoying yourself I'm Head Sauro. Nothing gets a hunter's blood pumping like a little danger. Well now, it seems we have that in common. I haven't felt this alive in a good while.
the spirit. We promised Falcona we'd deliver him a mountain of scrap. And I'm not about to let these hollow men make a liar out of me. Yeah, there he is. The pliers are hey, done. The ones below are yours. You got it. Wait, what do you mean below? He means exactly what he said. Don't see that every day. Hardly sporting, and this despite our best efforts to thin the enemy ranks. While it's not quite what we had planned, I'm glad we chose to remain in Tural. Oh, hey, it's uh, Ariane J. As am I. Yep, it was an unexpected but welcome opportunity to join in the defense of this realm. And to his credit, Kona did ask very nicely. Still, it's a pity his brother had to delay our pleasure jaunt. But business always comes first. Zoroja, I hate to say your army is sucking right now. Now let's go to the capital. Yeah. I have a feeling we're going to see Graha and Kona do a thing. Oh, and let's not forget about Galusia. Is it Galusia or... I think it's her own name. Yes, I know. Don't squander it. I never thought you of all people would come to my rescue. Pakul Chacha. Thank you. Oh. Still rings odd in my ears. The thank yous. But I could get used to it. Infantry. What of that monstrosity and its escort? If they start bombarding us with cannon fire, we'll have no means of fighting back. Worry not. We have a countermeasure. Oh, what did uh, Graha and Kona make? Never mind. Bleeding dragon. It's 
see you here, man. <laughs> What in the Navigator's name is it doing here? Tuliolol has entered into an alliance with Radzat Khan. A wise and timely decision on Valcona's part. Yeah, that's why I'm shocked to see him here. Hey, is it sister gonna come along too? Wait, or am I thinking of someone else? This music sounds like later on Lincoln Park when they become a more pop. Nope, it is what I'm thinking of. Tuli Yono shall never forget this. That's his sister who we saved, by the way. Garlin used her as the dragon. We for will hold out Lamachi. So keep your eyes forward and do what only you can do. Finish this and return home safe and sound. Yeah, it sounds like later Linkin Park when they came to pop. Their Thousand Sons album. Was it Thousand Sons? Uh, the songs on the album. Hey, sir, the army we sent sucks. <laughs> Report from the fleet. The enemy has offered unexpected resistance we've been forced to withdraw <sighs> he's gonna kill him useless all of you maybe <clears throat> oh yeah I called Stop. it Is he actually dead dead now? Oh yeah. Oh, he's gonna take the regulator. Oh yeah, he's out of souls. And you're gonna run like the coward you are. Have you gone mad? When the army fails in its duty, it is the charge of the King of Resolve to clean up its mess. To achieve victory by any means necessary. Sir Alja to Everkeep, initiate court blood. God, not cold blood. Execute all civilians and commandeer their souls. Oh, wait, what? No! Damn you! Oh, is he about to kill the civilians of Alexandria? Please, father, stop! Kalucha! I told you not to come! Kalucha? You must flee, Kalucha! It isn't safe! I'm not going anywhere! I have to stop my father! Uh-oh. I am not your father. Let him go! Uh, 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 
Using a child as a shield? Have you no shame? Release him at once, or you shall answer to me! Pitiful relic. Kneel before your king. Oh, no. Oh, yes? What's wrong? Find me at the top of Everkeep. There, we will determine who is fit to rule. She leaves the body, they collapse. That might be the one that we found on the ground behind the building in Tuliolo. That might have been the one she was using. happened that he should take his own child hostage well he said you're not my child now do you mean that in what way we must hurry back to everkeep Zoroja thinks nothing of others others lives he will kill his own people chances are we'll have to face a good part of his army with Otis among them let's take all let's all take care are you ready, Bader? Oh, it's an instant. Oh, I don't want to fight Otis. Let's do it. And after this, I believe I'll be calling it. Maybe. Oh, yeah, no, they're just straight murdering everybody. Wants all the souls I for have himself. no more use for you. Be gone. Father, wait! Father! Otis, Hamachi, you have to stop him. You have to. Well, first we have to go across this battlefield. shouldn't have gotten up. What have you done? Sveen, can't you order them to stand down? The King of Resolve holds military authority. I cannot overrule his commands. Something you can do, then do it. Your crimes are beyond forgiveness, but your people are innocent. <gasps> oh, let's see. We won't let Zorolja have his way any longer. I 
deceived you all, and still... Well, our job was to kill them, and we're still here the to talk do can so. Wait. When you said that you wanted to protect your people, I trust you weren't lying. Of course not! There's nothing I wouldn't do for them! Then let's split up and get to work. Do what you can do. I think I see the last dungeon. That tower. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight my way there. Please, everyone! Lend me your strength! All right, let's do this. I have the authority enough to move structures. A moment. Now then, there, now please go help as many as you can. Right, let's deal with these ones first. I'm trying, but I can't get aggro at the moment. Two stragglers, they're right here. This guy is being shot in the back. We should help him. And that guy. Eh, okay. Right, let's go. I'll make us a path. Oh, ever keep. I'll get them here. So May still crying out in fear and pain. Please hold on. People, we must save them. Oh, well, about that. Fiends, too! Damn you, Zalaja! I'm going to stop them! Guys, 2v1. Oh, no, there's someone else there. Man, these poor people. Oh, wait, we have survivors at the Major Crystal. Alright. Distraught Evacuee. I have no souls left. I could kill the guy. You're safe now. Hi. Be at ease. Take deep breaths. <laughs> I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Oh, thank you for coming to save us. So she really see her majesty unharmed. Are you hurt? Oh, we cleared away. We're in your debt. We'll try and get safety before the, more of them come. Is that? Alright, let's go. Alright, those two are doing stuff. Oh, it's Kryle and Graha. Oh, I didn't notice them for a second. <laughs>
your health is getting a little low. Also, ooh, that was loud. I'm sorry if I burst anyone's eardrums with that. Looks like that does it for this area. Look, the King's forces are on the move. There are still civilians on Trueview. Oh yeah, that's where the apartments well, are. We can't leave the wounded. Let's divide into two groups. Oh no. I'll take a guess is the kid who can't move Kryl, alive. Raha, please stay here and render aid. The rest of us will go and deal with the machines. All right. Yeah, because that will be the major person up ahead that we know of is the kid and his mother. If I had guessed, maybe the mother will sacrifice herself to protect the kid. Oh, no. Hey, Otis. Otis! You've got to wake up. Otis? This is going to be an interesting fight. Let's see if I can spot any Steiner moves from him. Good enough. For the honor of the Royal Knight! Forward! They actually hurt. Gonna pop a nebula. The machines are failing. Oh, 
our life. The looks of this! Everyone, keep your guard up! He's deactivated. It should be safe to approach. Um, no. Otis! No! Oh, Final Fantasy Nine music finally. Hello. I remember you, Otis. So please remember yourself. You're a proud knight of Alexandria, a man who lives to serve the kingdom and its subjects. He protected her. Otis. Stand back, Your Majesty. I am Sir Otis Bologna, Lord Captain of the Royal Knights of Alexandria. Upon mine honor, you shall harm neither my fair queen nor our citizens! Man, he's cool. Oh, we're fine with Otis. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, boss, you're just fighting. He's now on your party. Yeah. Otis. Let's do this. Apologies for the trouble I caused. So long as this body holds, I shall fight with you. <laughs> I get it. Have you ever seen the Holy Grail, Monty Python, or Dark Black Knight here? It's building up energy. How care? I'll just follow everybody.
Otis, thank you. Below, the playwork of the Royal Knight. Oh. Oh. Um. So many. This is going to be tough. Um. Am I actually supposed to be able to do this? Oh, this is gonna suck. So close. Oh, one percent. Gee, that's me. Could I get any closer on that? Oh no. Oh, this is not coming back from this. Thank you, Lord Captain, for the delicious repast, for everything. The old units do not have regulators. Their souls cannot be recovered. He is gone. The Otis who so valiantly fought for us. I'm truly grateful for your help. Would that I had the time to thank you properly. But I'm afraid I cannot linger. There are urgent duties I must perform. Fine, but 
Otis is... Do they even know who Otis is? I don't think they do. So he's the one who was looking after Galulja. Okay, they have an idea. Thanks to you, Solution 9 has been spared the worst. But the situation on the other levels is grim. We're currently assessing the full extent of the casualties. In the meantime, could you help us treat the wounded? Well, uh, Solution 9 looks worse for wear. A lot worse for wear. Alright. I didn't expect such carnage would unfold here. Tislar has adopted people too. Is there no end to his villainy? Villainy? Thank you, Otis. I pray your soul is at peace. God damn it! Was Zorozha trying to achieve by slaughtering his own people? That he's still bent on surpassing Papa is clear. Why this massacre? I don't understand. He wants to power up his, uh... He wants to power it up so he has all the souls so you cannot kill him. And that's why I think he's gonna become a giant beast. Right now we can only guess at his intent, but his obsession must be strong indeed to endure after 30 years. But now's not the time to ponder such things. The people need our help. Take. Well, someone's also doing the quest, or is done. But I'm gonna call it here. This one's gone for a while. Two days, in fact, for me. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. Uh, yeah, it's 906, and also this will be going on for oh, probably nearing two hours. So yeah, I'll see you next time, and maybe... Give me a second. What level is it? Level 99. We're nearing the end, everybody. I know people will probably be in the story within the first day of this expansion, because some people skip the entire expansion just to get to the end game to grind, and then they watch the cutscenes afterwards. Not me. I'm in no rush to, you know, get to the end game and do all the trials and stuff to grind the armor. But hey, whatever. But I'll see you next time. Um, it might be. The I don't want to say the last main episode because I also want to do the raids and stuff and the job quests, but they're going to be a side thing. But this might be the second to last, if I had a guess. For the MSQ, another four hours MSQ left, if I had a guess, but I don't know. But until then, I'll see you next time, and well, bye bye.